I know. I want him to take a break. You know, I want him to take a break away from everything, but it appears that certain individuals don't want to let that happen, which I'm not going to let that affect what I do anyways, but Marty, I'm telling you this right now, man. And yes, I'm directing this at you, Nick. This ain't Cyrax talking in the music biz, Marty. This is right now, this whole stream is me, Chance Wilkins, talking to Nicholas Beekler. Let me tell you, Nick. There's very few things in this world that piss me off. Very, very few things in this world that piss me off. But what you did last night, attacking my birth mom like you did, bro, that was the biggest mistake you could have ever made in your fucking life. That was the biggest mistake you could have ever made in your life. How do you think Saren's going to look at you now? The fact that you attacked my family, more specifically a relative that is no longer with us. You attacking my birth mom the way you did? Do you really think that was fair? Because I don't. Hell, there's a lot of people that don't think that what you did was right. And Marty, there's very few things, like I said, that I get mad about. But that right there is the number one thing you don't do with me, and that's disrespect the dead. See, you may have started this war, Marty, but like I told you last night, I'm fucking finishing it. And it ain't going to be your way or the highway, no. We're finishing it where it fucking began. Which is you shutting your goddamn mouth and leaving me and my friends and family alone. And that includes Jazz, and that includes family members that I passed on. That includes anybody that I converse with. Because, Marty, like I told you last night, you can threaten to kill me all you want. But there's one thing that you seem to fail to realize over and over again. And that is the fact that I welcome death. I don't run from it. I welcome it as an old friend. Because you seem to forget the fact, Marty, that the day I was born... Was the day I was supposed to die. I faced the Grim Reaper and laughed in his face and said, fuck you, and walked out of that goddamn hospital in one fucking piece. And guess what? I'm here 31 years later. So, do you really think after facing death as a child, then I'm afraid of it? No. I'm not. You could put a goddamn barrel of a pistol up to my fucking head and I wouldn't be afraid. The other night when those cops pointed those pistols at my head, I wasn't afraid for myself. I wasn't scared for myself. I was scared for my family. I was thinking about my family. How would they feel if I died at the hands of a police officer? How would they feel if I left this world behind? I wasn't afraid to die. Still, I'm still not afraid to die. I'm really not. Because I have faced death and beat it more times than you could ever seem to count. I have been through more 
in my life than you've ever been, Marty. Like I told you last night, compared to me, you're a nobody. Without me, no one would know who you even are. Regardless of whether people talk shit about me or not, I don't give a fuck. If people talk shit, good. That gets my name out there more, doesn't it? People make up lies about me, fine, whatever. Because the real motherfuckers that ride with me, that fucking ride with me, like my boy Track Hero, shout out to the homie Track Hero. What's good, bro? It's been a minute, dog. For those that fucking ride with me, that are legitimate fans and friends of mine, let me tell you, dude, they're the ones that know the truth. But you, however, are delusional as fuck. You think that you're this badass motherfucker, but you're not, Marty. You're not untouchable, motherfucker. And you taking shots of my family? Bro, are you trying to get yourself killed? Are you trying to get your ass handed? Do you want a silver platter? Because <laughs> if that's what you're aiming at, well, let me tell you, man, you're on the right track. Well, like I told you last night, Marty, I'm tired of motherfuckers like you. You think that you're so big and bad, but really, you're a fucking pussy hiding behind a computer screen like a bitch. That's all you do. You run and hide like a bitch. You try to turn the tables to fit what you think should happen. Well, I'm sorry that's not how reality works, Nick. We're not living in Nicholas Piegler world. We're not living in Music Biz Marty land. We're living in reality, motherfucker. Oh, and to that asshole that thinks that I'm going to give you the, the things that I'm going to give him the time of day. And I know you're probably watching this too, you fucking dirtbag. Let me tell you right now, I've already spoken with a lawyer. And guess what? They saw the image that you sent to my mom's of that supposed paperwork. And guess what? <laughs> it's fake as fuck. That document is a forged legal document. It's fake. So guess what? I got nothing to worry about. Oh, just for the record, I did show them the image of me that you supposedly created. And uh, guess what? I don't need permission to take my shit back. Because I found out that anybody that uses my image, I am allowed to take it back from them because that is my image and my likeness therefore the intellectual property belongs to me and that's coming from a lawyer dude that's coming from a lawyer that actually deals in cases like what you're trying to do so trust me when i say you're not gonna win this one dude you're not going to It's pretty sad that you don't know how likeness and imagery works. It's sad that you don't know how what you do is illegal as fuck. But like I said, I got nothing to worry about. My hands are clean because uh, I'm merely taking back what belongs to me already which is my face and my image and my likeness. So, you're losing, buddy. Oh, and uh, even if I do receive anything in the mail, I've already been informed to take it and burn it. 
and do what I want with it because it's fake and it will never hold up in court. So there's that out the way. But like I said, I am taking a three, a two to three month break. And I'm not going to be getting up on anybody's fucking panel unless they're a friend. If they're a friend of mine like Jasmine or Courtney, then yeah, I'll hop on. Or if it's my buddy Crow or Abe or anybody that I'm good friends with, then yeah, I'll hop on. But other than that, Marty, I'm not hopping on your panel. I'm not hopping on anybody's fucking panel. I don't give a fuck what you guys say about me. I'm doing what I need to do for myself and my family. Because I'm tired of being held back by a bunch of lit dick pussies that do nothing but repeat the same shit over and over every day about how I suck, how I'm this, how I'm that. Like... Like, take Shy Town here. He says that all the time. All lies. All lies. It's just the same goddamn thing on repeat over and over. It's dumb. It's boring and it's dull as fuck. Which is why I'm taking a break. Which is why I'm focusing on me. I'm not giving anybody the time of fucking day anymore to fuck my life up. No, 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 no. That ain't happening. Ain't none of you motherfuckers getting the time of day no more. Especially not you, Marty. Because you're a fat fucking piece of shit anyway. We already know that. You're a fat fucking ugly ass pig anyway. That does nothing but attack people like a bitch. We all know what kind of motherfucker you are, you douchebag, wet and dick motherfucker. Like I said, I'm tired of being taken advantage of. I'm tired of being ripped off. Oh, and uh, just for the record, I have taken my life back as of last night. Not saying how, but just know that I have taken my life back. And there ain't a goddamn person on this earth that's going to fucking stop me. Okay? There's not a goddamn motherfucker on the face of this earth that's going to stop me from doing things that I should have been focusing on. So, Marty, like I told you last night, you can kiss my ass. And all you little trolls in the chat that want to run your mouth about me, all you guys can kick rocks and fucking beat it. But Marty, like I said, like I was telling you originally, if you want to lose friends and family, go right ahead because you're on the right path to doing that. Nobody needs to do that for you. You're already on the path to losing everyone and everything. By doing what you do to me, by doing what you did to Jasmine the other night, and by doing what you did to me last night. So if you want to fuck up your life, go ahead. But like I told you many times, and this is facts, and I will not stop saying this to you until you get it through your thick fucking skull. One of these days, you are going to run your fucking mouth to the wrong motherfucker. And you know what they're going to do? They're going to come up there. They're going to take a trip to your house, and they're going to beat your fucking ass. And, I mean, if you don't believe me, I mean, you can always test the waters for yourself. You can always test the waters for yourself and find out. Unless you're too chicken shit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're too chicken shit. I'm pretty sure that you are too chicken shit to test it out because we know you ain't got 
We all know you ain't got the cojones or the fucking balls to do a goddamn thing except fuck with people like me. Because you're afraid to face someone bigger and badder than you. That's all it is. You're afraid to face someone badder than you and bigger than you and tougher than you. Hell, we all know that's why you ran away from bloated Kiki. We all know that's why Bloody Kiki fucking embarrassed you every fucking time he got the chance. And he made you look dumb as fuck. Shout out to Bloated Kiki. See, I know Bloody Kiki's taking shots at me. And I get why. Because I've done dumb shit myself. But at the end of the day, he respects me and I respect him. At the end of the day, me and Bloody Kiki are still cool. He respects me, and I respect him. That's how it's always been. And that's how it's always going to be. But Marty? Uh, well, like I told you, man, you just need to get off the internet and find a real job. And leave YouTube to motherfuckers like me that actually know what we're doing. So, Marty, like I said, talk shit about my family or my friends again. And I'm going to come up there and I'm going to fucking beat your goddamn ass. And that's not a threat. That is a promise. That is a fucking promise that if you do not stop this, I will come up there and I will beat your fucking ass within an inch of your fucking life. And I'm not fucking playing. Okay? You ain't a real motherfucker. You're a fake ass pussy. Hiding behind mommy and daddy's computer screen like a coward. I mean, you can sit there and say that I hid behind my family all you want, but we all know the real truth, Nick. And the truth is that my family turned you away because you showed up with four other motherfuckers. You showed up with four other cars. That's why my family turned you away. And you know it. You just want to look like the tough guy. You want to look like the big, bad, tough guy. Oh, look at me. I'm Music Biz Marty. I'm untouchable. I'm so tough because I bring four other cars with me to a fight. Nigga, you ain't tough. You ain't as tough as you claim to be, you fat fucking tub of lard. If anything, you soft as a goddamn ice cream cone, kid. You're as soft as a goddamn marshmallow. You ain't gonna do nothing, chicken shit. You ain't gonna do nothing, and you know it. So why don't you sit your fucking fat, lazy ass down and shut the fuck up, you marshmallow ass looking motherfucker. Because we all know you're a chicken shit. We all know that you're a fucking pussy. A wannabe. So like I said, Marty, if I were you, I'd shut the fuck up about my friends and family. Because the next time will be your last. Because there won't be any more warnings next time, Nick. There will not be any more warnings next time. Next time, you are going to get your ass beat by me personally. Because I'm tired of you running your cock-sucking little mouth. You've been bullying me for five years, and it's time you fucking back off, and you shut the fuck up. And you get a real fucking life. Because we all know you're fake as fuck. We all know that you're a pussy sucking on daddy's dick and mommy's titties. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. Your mom is a dyke too. So I forgot. You suck on two dicks a day. Or is it the, or is it the other way around? Is it that you suck your dad's dick and take your dyke mother's dick in the ass? Or is it the other way around? Do you take your dad's dick in the ass or your mom's dick in the ass? Which is it? Cause man, we both know that they're both dudes. And we both know that you like their dicks in your ass and in your mouth. 
So which is it, dude? Cause I mean, all I see when I look at you is a pussy, a punk ass bitch, an abuser, an asshole, and a dumb fuck that needs his ass beat. That's all I see. Now, with that being said, I'm going to go on my hiatus starting here in just a minute. And I'm going to stay away from the assholes and the ignorant fuckheads that think they know me. That think that they're better than me. Because you chicken shit motherfuckers that run your mouth about me don't fucking know me like you think. You're a bunch of pussies acting like a sheep to the slaughter. You're acting like motherfucking sheep. That's all it is. You're a bunch of pussy ass following sheep. You're chasing clout and you're chasing what Marty does because none of you can think for yourselves. You're a bunch of pussies. You got a crowd mentality and that crowd mentality is like you guys. It's a joke. Just like you guys in your lives. You guys, you trolls are a fucking joke. Just like your lives are a joke. Just like your families are a joke. Now, with that being said, I'm going to go enjoy my time off. I'm going to take a break. And to that dumb motherfucker that wants to try to run his mouth, don't even fucking think about trying this shit because I will know. Don't even think about trying to get in contact with me or my family. And that goes double for you little fucking trolls. And you, Marty. Don't think that I'm going to fucking respond to whatever you fucking say. Because I'm taking a break. To work on a banger ass album and kick ass like I should have been doing. So, Marty, fuck you, fuck the trolls, fuck the troll community. I'm out, bitches. Shout out to my fans, man. Shout out to the Racks Nation. I love y'all, man. Peace. <laughs>